Right, so as we get closer to Dub Dub, we do have a few leaks and a few hints pointing towards a MacBook Air M2 launch. And so let's delve into it guys, but first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. So let's first begin with the leaks. So Mark Gurman says there's a very likely chance Apple does unveil a MacBook Air with the M2 chip at the WWDC event. Now he does say that due to the Shanghai lockdowns, there is a good chance the MacBook Air does not make the cut for Dub Dub, but developers told German that more Apple employees are using these M2 MacBook Airs with their applications, and so that could be a sign that this product is ready to go. But German does give us more evidence because looking at the shipping dates for the M1 MacBook Air, they've been pushed back substantially, and this, for the most part, is the only M1 Mac being affected. The others are basically readily available to buy, so this could be a sign the M2 MacBook Air is close. Now yes, I do admit, shipping delays in the past have meant new products on the way, but of course, in this COVID era with supply issues, I'm not so certain. Anyways, the leaks continue because Maguire Wood, a less reliable source, also believes the M2 MacBook Air is going to launch at Dub Dub. Now, he does give us some details regarding the product that I'm sure lots of you guys already know about. So, for example, we're going to see new colors, a modified chassis design that's not going to have the iconic wedge, a slightly larger battery inside with the M2 chip, and no face ID in the notch. They do also mention battery life is going to be very comparable to the current M1 MacBook Pro thanks to the efficiency of the M2 chip. And so yeah, that's going to be appreciated. And yeah, Maguire also tells us the bezels are going to be white. So we'll have to embrace it, guys. This very much is going for the iMac aesthetic. And while I would have preferred black bezels, I can live with it if we're getting that new design. Anyways, talking about the design, we do have some hints towards this in the promotional material for this event. So for example, we have this new image of a few Animoji heads, obviously very busy coding on their laptops, but also you can see there are some distinct colors in this image, which is green, blue, purple, silver, pink, orange, and yellow. Now, of course, the M1 iMac has seven colors, and so I do think there's a very strong chance we do see seven color options with the MacBook Air refresh. And yes, I know some of you guys might be thinking there's pink, that's not available with the M1 iMac, why is that supposed to come to the MacBook Air refresh? Well, do remember that Apple's color schemes make absolutely no sense. For example, the iPad Air and the iPad Mini, they should have the same colors, but they don't. And so I do think the same is going to apply with the iMac and the MacBook Air with the M2 chip. And yeah, even with the colors they share, like blue, green, and purple, I do think they're going to be different shades just to mess up the lineup. Anyways, that's not the only thing they've shared with us. They've also given us an AR graphic that's a pack of cards. And this, first of all, does look very much like the iconic envelope the original MacBook Air was taken out of. But also, opening the actual cards shows us a bunch of colors that once again could be hinting at the MacBook Air refresh. And I thought I'd mention the red cards has a Touch ID logo behind the Animoji, so that could maybe be a hint that the MacBook Air is going to launch very soon at Dub Dub. So yeah, those are all the crazy theories and leaks, but tell me in the comments below guys, do you think there is a chance we could see the MacBook Air refresh launch at the WWDC event? Personally, I'm hoping we do see it. It would certainly make the event that much more exciting, but of course, back to school season will begin shortly, so of course, many students will buy tons of these MacBook Airs if it does launch. That said, I can see many argue WWDCs for professionals and developers, and so announcing a consumer-grade product at this event might not make sense. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the link above on details regarding the iPad Pro with the M2 chip. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.